So guys, we're here again down in my eBay office. Now, as you guys probably know if you've been following my other socials, we've been selling a lot of video games lately. And so as you would expect, the things keep selling, I keep buying. I know we already have a ton of extra stock here that sells to get listed, but I have been going through a lot of things and getting them up and listed, so I'm very excited to say that I went ahead and bought another lot. In today's video, we're gonna be going through this box that just arrived in the mail. It's a small one, but a valuable one. So I'm really excited to see what we got here. This is not your typical haul. This is full of stuff that is definitely on the more rare side, on the more expensive side if I remember correctly, but anyway, I believe I paid like a hundred bucks for it. I'm gonna throw it up on the screen right here so you guys can see exactly and what was uh, in the lot, the listing, all that stuff. Um, but nevertheless, this lo looks like a pretty good one, so I'm very excited to get into it, and I think we should just open it right up. I've been looking forward to opening this guy up all day. I've been spending so much time today doing a whole bunch of stuff. It's actually like 5 p.m. now, and I started working today around like 9 a.m. I had a whole bunch of shipping stuff to do, then I spent quite a bit of time at the post office, then I spent quite a bit of time at the bank, and then I spent quite a bit of time listing a whole bunch of stuff on eBay and only now have I finally gotten around to a time where I'm able to go ahead and make this video and open up this box. I'm not sure what the value is in wrapping it in this kind of cardboard paper material. Uh, I guess it might help protect it. I'm not sure but I guess it covers up anything that was on the box. I'm not sure but there we go. We've got our box now. Box is now open and let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So here we go inside and I mentioned this is video games. You might be thinking how the heck are you fitting any kind of video games into this box? Well this is actually what we call a loose lot and something that I've come to love over the years because these things are so easy to deal with, so easy to test, so easy to refurbish. It's amazing how quickly you can work through this stuff. And they do still sell for some decent money, but these are just the discs. So no cases, no manuals, nothing but discs. And you can see we've got a, a fair stack of them here. I don't remember the exact count, uh, but I believe it was something like 40 or 50 of them. Anyway, this is it. They're all here in this little bag, and we're gonna go ahead and open it up, look through them, and kind of talk about some of the more important ones here, why I bought the lot, and see how much money we'll be able to get for these. So we'll go ahead and just cut right into things here. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to remember what these were. I believe it's multiple consoles. So we've got everything from Xbox 360 to original PlayStation to all sorts of stuff. We can see here right off the bat a bunch of fun Xbox 360 titles. Nothing too crazy here so far, but all very typical titles. A few sports games in there. Uh, let's see what we have for original Xbox Crimson Skies. Uh, we've got Flight Club. Sorry, Fight Club, but of course I know that one. I've sold it quite a bit. Uh, anyway, here we go. Let's keep looking. Hitman 2. You know, the Xbox titles are okay. I don't know what this one is actually Fusion Frenzy. I'm not familiar with that title. Um, you know, the Xbox stuff is all right. Oh, here we go. San Andreas. This stuff's getting a little better. NFL Street. Some of these are worth some big money. We've got GTA 4, though, for the PS3. And as we get into some of the other PS3 games, another copy of GTA 4, a Gran Turismo game for the original PlayStation, that one could be worth something. Aha, you may have seen this one peeking out, and this kind of hints to why I like this lot quite a bit. Super Mario Galaxy. That's always been a great seller. One of the first original games that I sold ever on eBay, I think, it was Super Mario Galaxy 2. So this is a classic, and I believe I sold my first copy for something like $15 or $20. I'm not sure. I think the price is still uh, pretty similar to that today. Um, but anyway, some exciting stuff here. Guitar Hero games for the Wii always sell well. Scalenders, eh, 50-50. Uh, they do sell, but slowly. Uh, Smackdown, WF, that could be worth something for the PlayStation. Oftentimes, these PlayStation uh, wrestling games can be worth quite a bit. We've got NHL 98, a classic right there. That's an old one. Shootout 97. Let's keep going. Test Drive. We've got Hot Shops Golf. I'm going through these because these are classics. These are all for the uh, PlayStation 1 console. And uh, what's this one? Vigilante? That's how you say that, right? Vigilante 8. Anyway, uh, a good title there, I believe. Uh, again, I'm not super familiar with my PlayStation 1 titles, but looking like there's some good stuff in here. I mean, come on. Look at this mirror copy. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Looks pretty cool. Uh, this is Cool Borders 3. Not familiar with that one. Driver 2. Uh, we're still going going through PS1 titles here, which is always exciting. Uh, 007, Tomorrow Never Dies. We've got Spec Ops, Stealth Patrol. Still going through. I mean, there's some good stuff here. A couple Gran Turismo's there. Ultimate Spider-Man. I'm not sure. I don't think that one's actually worth too much. Uh, here's a Mortal Kombat game. Reservoir Dogs, Grand Theft Auto 3. Rock Band. We've got a couple more. Battlefront 2, an absolute classic and a good seller there for the PlayStation 2. X-Men. And as we keep going, Bounty Hunters, Monster House. I believe that one might be worth something actually. Monster House, uh, B-movie game. Nothing special there. Prince of Persia. Okay, SOCOM. All the typical ones that we're seeing. A couple God of War copies. Actually, quite a few God of War copies. Copies. This is a Tony Hawk's uh, Pro Skater 2 that has been scratched off the label. That is hilarious. Um, <laughs> that's kind of strange. Uh, then we've got Pro Skater 3, and then we've got Need for Speed Most Wanted. So there we go. And then we got a couple more. Need for Speed Underground. A couple copies there. We've got Destroy All Humans. That one might actually be still worth something. I know it was up in value there a few years ago. Red Faction 2, and we'll end things off with Flat Out 2. So I mean, I think you guys can hopefully see why I bought this lot. I mean, first of all, some unique titles, right? It's kind of fun. I'm kind of bored of all 
all the same stuff that I'm dealing with here on the daily, especially like the 360 stuff and kind of just doing like, okay, GTA 5 over and over again, GTA 4 over and over again, Assassin's Creed games, all the, you know, the plain old titles you see for Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 that we had to go through here. So that's one factor. But also the price I paid on these games, very cheap, very good price. I believe, again, if we're in that $100 uh, range for 40 games or so, something around there, uh, we're looking at, you know, around $2 a piece, which is not bad at all. But then also the PlayStation 1 stuff. I like to try to add some diversity to my store, maybe attract a different customer base. So I think having the PlayStation 1 and older gen consoles, uh, as I've been trying to sort of expand into those more and more, it does uh, get tricky because there are less and less of that stuff available on the market. But I think if we can try to get more on our hands, we can actually offer some more options to our customers um, and then be able to maybe convert them on some newer games as well, or at least bring some more eyes to the store. So that's kind of the goal there. Uh, I'm very happy with this lot though. It's super small. Uh, it's got some variety in it, which is always exciting. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably had to JFJ quite a few of these. I haven't looked. Yeah, like that one's not great. That one's terrible. That one's not great. Yeah, okay, so this is a refurb lot. And I believe it was actually mentioned that it was a refurb lot. So not too bad there. Uh, nothing looks terrible. And I'm sure we'll be able to get through 99% of this stuff here. So not too concerned. We'll run it through the JFJ. We'll be able to make some good money on it. It'll be nice and quick. And we're getting some diversity in the store. This is my kind of lot. And so there we go, guys. That's a look at the box. Pretty solid there. Nice quick little haul makes for a nice quick little video here. And uh, I was just excited to share that with you guys because I thought it was a little bit different. And it kind of also shows that maybe if you're just starting out, there is still a low barrier to entry option for this business. You know, pay 90 bucks for a lot like that. And you're getting a good amount of games, good variety of different consoles that you can start to post on eBay slowly and build up a store from there. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found some value in it. Again, if you did or if you liked any of the games that you saw here, be sure to let me know down below in the comment section. Leave a like again if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will see you guys all next time. Thank you.